hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k cubed and its whole square root is equals to 3 cubed and its whole square root uh, so we solve this problem for all the values of k so here first we need to remove this square root sign from both of the sides so in order to remove the square root sign we need to take the uh, squaring on both of the sides so when we will take squaring it will be written as square root of k cubed and its whole square is equals to a square root of 3 cubed and its whole square and now uh, you see that this 2 and this square root are gone this 2 and this square root are also gone and we will get here k cubed is equals to 3 cubed so further you see here we uh, solve this problem for the values of k so that's why we need to move this 3 cubed from right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes k cubed minus 3 cubed is equals to 0. So here we use the nice uh, cubic formula you know about that if we have a cubed minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. So according to this formula you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b uh, so according to the below formula we will write here our above equation as this is a minus b the value of a is k minus the value of b is 3 into this is a square so the value of a is k it will become k square plus a b the value of a is k and b is 3 plus b square so the value of b is 3 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. And further in the next step we need a little bit simplifications here and it will become k minus 3 times of k square plus 3 times of k plus this 3 square becomes 9 then this whole equation is equal to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write k minus 3 is equal to 0 and the second case is we write k square plus 3k plus 9 is equal to 0 so from here we easily get the value of k is equal to 3 so this is the first solution of the given equation and now here in order to find the other we need to solve this quadratic equation so we know that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation first is factorization method second one is completing square method the third one is by applying the quadratic formula uh, so here we use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to 3 and c is equals to 9 so these are the coefficients of the given equation and we write uh, the quadratic formula as k is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a so this is our quadratic formula and now here we substitute the values of a b and c here so uh, we have k is equals to this is minus b the value of b is 3 plus minus square root of b square b is 3 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 9 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 so further we need more simplifications and it will be written as minus 3 plus minus square root of 3 square and we know that 3 square becomes 9 minus this is 4 times of 9 divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. So further in the next step here uh, we need to take common 9 inside the square root sign and it will be written as minus 3 plus minus square root of 9 times of 1 minus 4 divided by 2 so here we have this is minus 3 plus minus we know that a square root of 9 becomes 3 into square root of 1 minus 4 and 1 minus 4 becomes minus 3 divided by 2 so here uh, we know about that uh, when negative sign appears inside the square root it will become iota so here first we need to uh, write this square root sign separately on both of these values and it will become minus 3 plus minus 
थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ स्केयर रूट ऑफ थ्री एंड दिस इज स्केयर रूट ऑफ माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाई टू सो हेयर वी जस्ट ब्रेक द फ्रैक्शन ऑफ दिस टर्म एंड वी विल गेट हेयर के इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई टू प्लस माइनस थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ स्केयर रूट ऑफ थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई टू एंड हेयर वी नो दैट स्केयर रूट ऑफ माइनस वन इज इक्वल्स टू आयोटा So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation, and we have the one real root of the given equation is k is equals to three. So this is the one real root of the given equation, and these are the two complex roots of the given equation. So this is the final answer of this question, and I hope so you like this method. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos